Hey folks, this is I always and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Burress, and he's in Super Conqueror. This is a tier 10 game on Emperor's Order, or Empire's Order, not Emperor's, yeah, okay. I'm not crazy. So, um, I have actually seen a bit of this game before. Um, this was supposed to go up like a week ago. And then uh, I was experiencing all those horrible times when my computer would not work. It was crashing mid-recording and stuff like that. So this is one of the games that was supposed to get recorded. I saw a bit of it, and then uh, it, it got destroyed. <laughs> so we're going to just like hope that I've forgotten a lot of it and, and go from there. Um, I feel like there was something else that needed to get said. Oh, um, uh, in about a month... Or so, um, April the sixth or seventh. I don't know the date yet exactly. I have to get confirmation that I'm going to be off work that day. Um, Great Taz and I are going to do a, um, a Civilization Five grunge match for charity. Um, and so, uh, you know, somewhere on the screen will be a link to Great Taz's channel. Go check him out. Um, and then. At the same time, if you guys can want to drop in on the stream when it's actually going live in about a month, we're going to stream all day long, like six, eight hours, whatever it takes to do a full game of Civilization Five. And um, I don't think we're going to have any other players in it. It's just going to be the two of us, most likely. But we might pull some friends into it. And, um, and then we're just going to go and have some fun and... Uh, and see how much money we can raise for charity. The whole goal is going to be whoever wins, that's the charity we donate to. So yeah. Um, look forward to more information. It will be going up on the Discord server if you want more information about that. And I will be um, getting a post up there shortly about that. For now, back into the game. So this is, of course, the way you want to take if you want to be. If you're coming up here in a heavy tank, the, um, however, uh, if you're going to take this position, you do want to be something with decent gun depression. Otherwise, you're going to end up exposing more of your tank than, than not, and you're going to end up getting shot at a lot without actually being able to return fire kind of thing. Okay, that's one way to end. Um, is a little, little looks like he's in a decent position. Oh, he is. He's all, but... Yep, he's completely hauled down. So he's gonna start shooting at us pretty soon. We're using the corpse of the LTTB for cover, and of course, the little waits until we're not in cover anymore before blasting us. This object either doesn't realize that he's got a super conqueror behind him, or he doesn't think it matters. Um, I mean, I don't know which it is, but he'll think it matters once he uh, backs back up again. Here we go. He's a perfect target now. Unfortunately, we just fired, so going for the track shot. Uh, unfortunately, that track shot does not succeed. I don't know if that didn't go through his drive wheel, or somehow, um, yep, again, just somehow does not make contact with the drive wheel. And the object is continuing to be able to just walk away. Now, the object is going to have a seriously hard time shooting us because he's looking up at a, uh, a Super Conqueror's turret, and there we go, there goes his tracks. Um, and looking up at the Super Conqueror's turret is exactly where the Super Conqueror wants you to be. Um, this gun fires fast enough that without a repair kit like he just used, that guy's not going to be able to repair his tracks between our times when we fire, and in addition to that, unless he actually comes a lot, really far up here, He's going to have nothing to shoot at but the front of our turret, which is so well sloped that it's going to make it a little bit hard for him to do anything with. The low has been in the fight for a little bit, but for some reason wasn't shooting at us when we were on top of the hill. I assume we were out of his line of sight. And so really he hasn't done a whole ton of in this battle so far, even though uh, he's camped out in a really decent spot. Now he's joined by a con... Did I pause? I did. <laughs> Whoops. I was crashing again for a second. He's joined by a Conway. 
uh, or he was at some point, so we got to watch out for that. Um, oh, that was a little again. My bad. Um, because, of course, the Conway can destroy us. It's a Conway, right? So you, you gotta you got to watch out for that. Uh, he's skipping across this opening. Open catch the back of the Mini Mouse. Uh, he does, in fact, catch his side and put one of his last two AP rounds. Or he has last three AP rounds into the side. There we go. There's one more and one more left, and he's out of rounds. Well, he's out of the standard AP. He's gonna have to start firing. H E or oh, the Conway shows itself just in time to catch our last AP round. Wasn't that fun, Mr. Conway? Didn't you enjoy that? He does get another show out, but I mean, we're gonna finish him off before anything else really goes wrong. And the W Z behind us finishes off the Mini Mouse. So now it's only this low on this corner. He's going to have a really hard time defending it, but he does manage to take out our eyes 3 before he starts getting, well, picked into a corner. Uh, backed into a corner, sorry. And picked apart. Um, those are two separate senses, not the same sense. Uh, Ulo charges us, somehow manages to shoot the only part of the tank that he wasn't going to go through right then, and doesn't, in fact, go through our... Um... What's it called? <laughs> Our gun. Though, I don't really understand how we manage that. Uh, we're going to speed up because otherwise this recording is going to run a little long. Um, and we know there's not... Uh, nobody's before this mutts right up here, so... Um, assuming the mutts is in the same spot he is, then we're just going to do a drive-by killing, I'm sure. Unless, of course... Oh, there we go. Um, unless, of course, our friendly WZ just gets all up in our way. Looking for the 53 TP. That thing is deadly. Finding it, um, thankfully, it didn't shoot us. <laughs> Took a sh pot shot at the E50. It was with us. Now, either he didn't see us, which, I mean, we'll remedy here in a second because we're out in the middle of an open field, or he was trying to kill the E50 because of the fact that it's a meme tank and not a heavy tank. Um, I don't know, but I assume it's on the fact that E50 is on full health. The 53 uh, TP didn't see us, which is why he just wandered out into the open just now and took a shot. Uh, he bounced one off of us, which is great to know because that thing seriously hurts if it had made contact. Uh, we're going to push up on this hill and looking for the shots at its lower glacis. I don't know why he turned the turret away, but uh, that was the only chance he was going to get to shoot. And now he's coming charging around the corner. Uh, he's going to get one shot at us right about here. Unless, of course, his gun is damaged? Or why is he not firing? Okay, there goes the 50 TV. Finally firing. Unfortunately for him, he bounced. And now there's only three enemies left on the board. They're way on the other side, though. And so we're going to actually push on up. Now, it's a three-on-three. Three. We really need to be sticking together. Because if we don't, we're going to get picked apart uh, being discovered solo. And that's really not good. Knowing where the T-54 is, we, um, we're going to wait and see if we can't pop him. Looks like, nope. I shot it didn't fake make contact. Um, WZ is going to push forward. Oh, two six threes right there. As he comes in from behind, manages to put a shot into us. And then we got tank all the way turned around, but it's not going to matter. That gun can go through this tank at any angle. As long as they don't shoot our gun mantle or our tracks. Ha <laughs> ha! But we will reload faster than him, so it's all good. At this point in time, he has just killed himself. Uh, wow, 263 just wasted his tank. Um, Object 257 is coming up to also try and waste his tank. Um, he's going to take him two shots to kill us. It's going to take us a lot more two shots to kill him, though, as our allies are still putzing around and not actually on the case. There we go. He's in front of us. He's in front of our gun, and he's running away, so not even a threat as far as shooting us. Back goes. Five kills. And the e T-54 takes out 
the W's at. It was on like three quarters south. So that's significant. Uh, we have two shells left of APZR. Okay? After that, we, uh, we're seriously in a problem. Also, apparently the E-50 is a bot, which really just makes this a one-on-one. -on -one. The upside to this is that we can kill him in a single shot, remember? He's on like 50 health, whereas he definitely cannot. He's it's going to take him at least two shells to kill us. If he rolls low, it may take him three. Uh, we're going to speed this up a little bit because apparently he's shooting at us so he can see us, but we can't see him just yet. He's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Way up there. Speed this up as long as we know where he is. Ooh. As we fire off the second and last shell in our arsenal. And he manages to bounce his, thankfully. <sighs> that is how you do it, folks. So he could have just kept trading fire with this guy and bouncing shot after shot. But he figured out, hey, the guy's only got 42 health. I'm just going to switch to HE, pop him in the turret, and what do you know? It kills him. Well done. Thank you so much for us for sending this in. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching this. And please, of course, subscribe and share this and all that good stuff, if, especially if you want the channel to grow. That's the best way for a channel to grow. Also, don't forget the charity stream that will be happening in the month of April, first weekend of, in April. Um, and then, of course, um, I'm sure there's other good stuff, so thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE throughout. You know, it occurs to me that I should probably do the post spot results, right? <laughs> Ace Tanger, Hand of God, Bruiser, Duos, Fire for Fact, Show Proof, Steel Wall, High Caliber, and Top Gun. Uh, that's not bad. It's well done. This is the part that I, I can't I get a kick out of that number every time I see it. Uh well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in. Um again I know I've read some of this up, but I'm trying to remember to cut it all out. Um yeah. This is awesome. Thank you. I can't wait to see your next game. I can't wait to see games from everybody else too, because I'm running out. And so yeah. Thank you all. Have a great night. This is IOE throughout.